We have to be encouraged. We cannot be discouraged. Even though the holiday season is here, we have to be encouraged within. It's real music with real harmony and real grooves. Good morning, everybody. Once again, you're listening to Gospel Praise Celebration. I'm Simone Malone, one of your most trusted and respected voices right here on Internet Radio at its best every day. Well, we cannot do this program without sharing something inspirational. You know I'm all about the motivation and inspiration because when we go into the Word of the Lord and when I share these moments with you on Facebook and those of you that check me out on my YouTube channel, Channel, trusted voice in radio it helps me simone malone every day in my walk with our lord and savior jesus christ every day we're always facing some type of problem or situation and if you are a believer trust me you're going to need god to help you every day so let's talk about when god cleans house you know when we're talking about cleaning house i'm not talking about the physical house or apartment that you live in sometimes we're talking about your soul and your spirit uh, your body in particular and I want you to focus on this scripture, Ephesians 4, uh, 31. And in chapter uh, 4, verse 31 says this, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Mm-hmm. That's right. As we get ready to go into the holiday season, it's here now. It's a time to give thanks as we celebrate Thanksgiving Day. And Thanksgiving Day to me is every day. Every day that God allows you to get up, you ought to thank him. And make something special out of your life. So Ephesians 4.31, I want you to read that during your daily devotion. But listen, God did some fall cleaning. Mm -hmm. Is he doing any cleaning in you? And what I'm talking about is in your mind, body, and soul. In my own life, I realize that sometimes it's a similar way where uh, God will send some stormy circumstances and situations to happen to you. And I oftentimes have conversations with family and friends, and I tell them that uh, when a situation happens to you, don't always blame the enemy. Don't always say it's the devil, because God is going to allow some things to happen to you to awaken you. That's right. So it can be a stormy situation in your life right now. And we oftentimes say, oh, it's the devil. The devil's on my back. No, it's not always that. God is trying to draw you closer to him. And I know from my own experience, what I've dealt with, uh, being sick over the summer, and just personal things, that God is trying to capture my attention. More often, it's something that's not good, like a bad habit I've slid into, or a stubborn attitude that prevents your new growth. And God is trying to get your attention. The Old Testament prophet Jonas discovered that uh, what happened to him refuses to get rid of a stubborn attitude. And some of you as Christians know that you have a stubborn attitude and you need to get it together. His hatred for the, the nine Evites was stronger than his own love for God. So God sent a great storm that landed Jonah and a giant fish. Read the story. Jonah 1, 4, and 17. God preserved the reluctant prophet in that unlikely place and gave him a second chance to obey. How many of you know that God gives you a second chance? There's a song that says he gives me a second chance, but you know what? God gives you many chances. But let me tell you something. And one of those chances you don't wake up and you don't get it together? Mm -mm. I don't know what's going to happen. That's between you and God. You got to get it together. The lifeless limbs sometimes can think of attitudes that God expects us to dispose of. But Paul's letter to the Ephesians lists some of them. Bitterness, anger, and evil speech. When God shakes things up in your life, we need to get rid of what he shakes loose. Once again, when God shakes things up in your life, what do we mean by shaking? You may lose a job. You may lose a friend. You may lose money. Whatever it is, he's going to shake you, and you need to get it together. Let, let's just remember this. Lord, give me a listening heart. Help me to cooperate with you when you point out changes that need to be made in my life. I want to honor you and please you every single day. Remember this. Christ's cleansing power can remove the most stubborn stain of sin. Once again, Christ's cleaning power can remove the most stubborn stain of sin. So when God cleans house, you better get ready. I want you to stay right there. More great music is on the way right here at FMHDMS. We are Digital One. 